Okay, uh, I noticed on my EX, the right side uh, air chamber loses air. And you would notice that when, when you go over any bump uh, or down a curb, um, it bottoms out. So that means the top of the cylinder um, is coming down and smacking into this um, black block at the bottom. Um, so the only thing that can be bad in this very simplistic uh, suspension system is that air chamber. And the only thing that can be bad in that air chamber to lose air is the valve. And let's see. And the valve is just a standard bicycle Schrader valve. That's all it is. So what I did is uh, I removed the valve using a long core remover. And I did all this without uh, taking this black block off. It is possible, uh, um, pretty easy. Um, basically, you take this, there's a silicone plug in here, and for some reason it doesn't fall out. Anyway, you would remove that, stick the core remover in there, unscrew it, uh, turn it about 20 times. You won't be able to pull it out. Once, once you have loosened it, stand up the wheel and bounce it up and down a couple of times, and the valve will fall out then uh, replenish the uh, air uh, sorry replenish the oil in there i would put about 10 drops of oil in there uh, they come with a little bottle of oil from gotway but uh, or bigode um, but if you do run out uh, i would think mineral oil uh, should be fine uh, so you replenish the oil Put the new valve in and what i did with the valve i put a very thin film of uh, grease on this end here very thin um, and then i put it in tightened it and uh, then i've got a little spray bottle of uh, dish soap it's very foamy i sprayed it into the uh, valve area and then looked to see if, the, if there is any air bubbles which would mean you're losing air. I didn't see any, and uh, I put my plug back in and rode it up and down a curve a few times, good few times, and it is holding air so far. Um, while we're at it, if, uh, if this guy has lost all the air and it has gone totally inside the air chamber, uh, it is pretty easy to remove it. Let me see. Uh, okay. This is a new air chamber. If this part, the... If this part has gone all the way inside the black part, it's difficult to grab it and pull it out uh, with your fingers. So, all you need to do is if it has gone totally inside of it use uh, the part that they send you to fill up air with you can screw this in and then using a pair of pliers you can grab it from this indentation here and just pull the whole thing out so that's an easy trick for that and you can do all this without having to remove this black block. But if you need to remove that black block for, you know, if you want to replace the air chamber, um, see, so you need a pair of uh, um, snap ring or C-clip remover tool. Basically, it goes inside the two small holes on either side of the C-clip, and then you pry it. Uh, open and then you remove it 
but let's say you're somewhere and you can't you you have to do this uh, you don't have uh, time to go buy one um, you can just use a standard pair of pliers obviously the end is going to be too thick to go inside the two small holes and uh, so what i did because i don't have my snap ring here with me the the tool uh, i got my file and filed the edges uh, so that it is a uh, small enough tip to go inside the holes and then i just opened it and removed it I would suggest you buy an extra snap rings just in case it falls or you know when removing it you you bend it i i suggest you buying uh, a few of them there are, uh, at any automotive parts store you can get them so uh for most part unless you're removing the entire chamber to replace it for whatever reason you don't need to remove this guy when you go to fill up oil you just turn your wheel upside down and you put your drops in there and that's it so realistically you the only time you need to remove this black block is when you're removing the entire chamber okay hope that helped